let's come to the main topic algebraic expression and identities first let us come the what is the definition of algebraic expression a collection of constant and variables connected by operations now what is the significance of constant constant means all the real numbers from minus infinity to plus infinity are called the constant numbers variables means x y z these are called the variables and they are connected by operations operation means addition subtractions multiplications divisions are the operations let's come some examples of this algebraic expression first is monomial what is the monomial if the term is 7x square y there is exactly one term so that is why it is called the monomial if number of terms are 2 1 is 5x to the power 4 and 2y cube total number of terms are 2 1 and 2 that is why this expression is called binomial next part is trinomial if number of terms are 3 first term 4x to the power 5y square first term 6x cube y square second term and 2y third term next part is multinomial if the number of terms are more than 3 5x cube first term 4x square second term 3x third term 4 is a fourth term if number of terms are more than 3 it is called multinomial now let's come some basic operation of this algebraic expression first is addition subtractions multiplications and division first operation is addition i am considering one example first is 3x square minus 9xy plus y square it is the first expression tell me the students which type this is a expression it is a trinomial since there are three terms are there one two three another expression is 7x square minus 10xy plus 4y square plus 5 which is the term it is a multinomial because there are number of terms of 4 let us add this two expression answer is this plus this expression now first of all let us arrange by the like term first term is a 3x square what is our next like term that is 7x square so 3x square plus 7x square minus 9xy what is a like term minus 10xy so minus 9xy minus 10xy y square what is the next like term 4y square y square plus 4y square and constant term that is 5 3 plus 7 what value is coming 10x square minus 9 minus 10 what value minus 19 minus 19 xy 1 plus 4 what value 5 so 5 y square and a single 5 is this next part is a subtractions i am considering one example subtract one expression from the another one students before solving this type of subtractions read the sum twice for this particular example, we have to subtract first one from the second one. That is why I have written the second one first, second expression minus first one. So first is a remain unchanged 2x cube minus 5x square plus 2 minus within the first bracket, the sign of 5x cube with again I am telling within the first bracket, the sign of 5x cube is plus. This plus into minus is coming minus 5x cube. This minus and this minus is coming plus. Minus into minus is plus. Plus 3x squared. Again, same technique. Let us arrange the like terms. 2x cube. There is a no. Uh, okay, yes. 2x cube and my like term is the minus 5x cube. 2x cube minus 5x cube. Minus 5x squared. 3x squared plus 3x squared minus 5x square and plus 3x square and single element 2 2 minus 5x cube is coming minus 3x cube since the number 5 is greater than 2 that is why we put the sign of 5 that is minus next part is 5x square 
plus 3x square same thing 5 minus 3 is coming to since the 5 now is greater than 3 we put the sign of 5 next number is the 2 next operation is multiplications one example is let us multiply two expression algebra expression one is a 5x minus 2 into 3x plus 5 for this particular exam example I am expanding it by the first component 5x into second is a remain unchanged minus 2 into this expression now at the time of the multiplications students remember that constant into constant variable into variable 5 into 3 is coming 15 x square x into x is coming x square 5 into 4 20 x here minus 2 and this is plus plus minus a minus 2 into 3 is coming 6 x minus 2 plus 4 is coming minus 8 so 5 15 x square plus 20 minus 6 what value 14 x minus 8 next one example of division i am considering uh, one example like one sum that is a divide 24x square y cube z to the power 5 we are dividing this expression by 6x y to the power 5 z to the power 4 so first expression by the second one for this particular sums we need a formula of indices you studied in class 7 that is x to the power m by x to the power n this equals to x to the power m minus n so if i divide 24 by 6 is coming 3 let us apply the property of indices x to the power 2 and here is x to the power 1 so ultimately x to the power 2 minus 1 here is a y to the power 5 y to the power 3 it is coming y to the power 5 minus 3 here is a z to the power 5 z to the power 4 z to the power 5 minus 4 so 3 x to the power 2 minus 1 is 1 that is 3x z to the power 5 minus 4 is 1 3xz by y to the power 5 minus 3 is next part of this chapter is the algebraic identities there are three identities are there first one is a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square number two is a minus b whole square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square third is a a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b i am taking one sum that is a related to this formula first one if x plus 1 by x equals to 2 what is the value of x square plus 1 by x square so right now i am considering whatever given statement is this x plus 1 by x equals to 2 next i am squaring both sides squaring both sides x plus 1 by x whole square equals to 2 square let us apply the formula of a plus b whole square what is the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square so x square plus 2x into 1 by x plus 1 by x square and right side 2 square is 4 here this x and 1 by x cancel each other so x square plus 2 plus 1 by x square right side is 4 let us convert this 2 from left hand side to right hand side we know that side change implies sign change so x square plus 1 by x square equals to 4 minus 2 that is 2 considering another example if a plus b is given 9 a b is 10 what is the value of a square plus b square given that a plus b is 9 now same technique like at the previous one squaring both sides a plus b whole square equal to 9 square formed by the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to 81 now instead of ab we can put the value given that is a 10 so 2 into 10 plus b square equal to 81 so a square plus b square plus 2 into 10 is coming 20 a square plus b square plus 20 equal to 81 let us convert 20 from left hand side to right hand side a square plus b square equals to 81 minus 20 so a square plus b square equal to 61 these are the application of this formula a square plus b square and a minus b whole square as well as a square minus b square this is a very very vital formula of algebraic expression
Students, I think you understood the what is the property of this algebraic expressions as well as the identities. So right now I am giving the home assignment related to the properties and the identities. So solve these problems.